Hello everybody. In this video we will see how to use the generator sizing tool. This tool is an Excel file which helps us to size a generator. The use of this tool is a must when selecting a generator and we should pay close attention when filling it because if not it can mislead us into having a too big or a too small generator for our installations. Before filling the Excel file, we need to have all the data concerning the electrical consumption of our installation. For this, we shall make an exhaustive list of all the electrical devices present in our installation and their power consumption. This information can be taken from their plate or in the first sheet of the file which contains examples of several devices frequently found in the field. Then we can work with the Excel file by first filling in all the information regarding who is filling the form and for which electrical installation it is meant, etc. Then we can add as many rows as needed to include all the electrical appliances. We must include all the electrical appliances present in our installation even if they are not being used at the moment. When filling this information, to make it understandable, we should write a clear definition of the device, where it is located, how many of them there are, and its power consumption in watts. The next column, regarding the use, represents how many hours per day the device is consuming, electricity expressed as a percentage of a day. This means that 10% is 2.5 hours, 25% is 6 hours, and so on. There are some appliances, like the printers for instance, that even if they are plugged and turned on, they only consume power rated on their plate when printing. We should take this into account when filling this column, so the total consumption is as accurate as possible. Next, there is the type column. In this column, we can choose from the drop-down menu for resistance, motor or compressor. The electrical appliances can be divided into these three categories according to the electrical circuit they have. This text box will help us to know which category it belongs each appliance. The rest of the information is calculated by the tool based on the information already filled in. Now we can see the estimate of the total power consumption of the electrical installation to be supplied by the generator. The total with a 20% safety margin and the peak current if all the appliances were plugged in at the same time. With this information, the tool shows at which percentage of its power capacity the generator will work and if it can handle the peak current if all the appliances were started at the same time. The generator shouldn't be either too big or too small and ideally it should work between 30 and 80 percent of its capacity. Another nice feature of the generator sizing tool is the ability to have several regimes in the same file. The electrical consumption during the night might be very different from the consumption during the day. We can easily copy the existing information into a new tab and select whether devices will be switched on or off. Remember that the generator sizing tool is just a step in the process of selecting a generator. You can find more information in the generator selection and installation procedure documents found in the log lee.